Hello and welcome back to another one of Zug's guides on Broadside Gaming. Today we're going to be doing a beginner's guide to the Slayer. I quite like the Slayer. I don't play it as much as I want to because I'm always dragged back to playing the Elf because I like the Elf. But Slayer is quite an amusing class to play because it's yeah, basically all melee. Let's have a quick look at him, Joey. So we've got Trophy Hunter as his passive ability, hitting an enemy grants a stacking damage debuff, increases damage by 10%, stacking three times, and the buff lasts two seconds. His career skill is Leap. Uh, Bardin leaps forward to stun a target and gains 30% increased attack speed for 10 seconds. And then his others are Path of Carnage, increases attack speed by 7.5%, and Durengi Grit. Charge attacks cannot be interrupted by damage. And that's really good, especially if you're taking it with Crunch? No, it's not Crunch. Which one is it? Ah, hitting an enemy with a charge attack reduced stem taken by 40% for 5 seconds. So, yeah. Grimnir's Focus, that's the one. Yeah, as you can see, I, I don't play the Slayer as much as I used to. But, um, yeah. So, you're basically all about eating the shit out of everything. So, usually, what I'd go for is uh, Jewel Hammers, because they are uh, Bardin's best Horde Clear weapon. They're incredibly fast. They have very, very good dodge on them and amazing block cost. As you can see, the stamina shields, you have five with the hammers. And as my secondary, I go with the one-handed axe because uh, you can tear apart armored enemies really quickly and you can deal with multiple armored enemies at once with the one-handed axe. As you can see, it's very, very fast and it has a lot of armor penetration on it. So the hammers are for hordes. Axe is for armor. It's it's that simple, really. Uh, I'd say the most difficult part uh, difficult part with the Slayer is uh, learning to stay alive. As uh, you will get carried away just hacking and hewing and jumping into things because it's hilarious. So for that, I highly recommend practicing your dodging and blocking. So, as usual, we shall go see Herbal Burgle Burglesburg in Hellscourge and we'll go uh, list out some of the uh, things I've been talking about. Like, the hammers are a DLC weapon, which I highly recommend you pick up. It's not very expensive. It's like six euros, dollars, pounds, stonks, you know, whatever, you, whatever your currency is. But they are very, very good. I think you do need to do the Beastman map to unlock them, but it's not particularly difficult. The most annoying thing is, is just getting the uh, red skin for them, which is kill all bosses on Legend. It's not difficult, it's just annoying, especially when you have to do it for every single character. So, as you can see, you just basically run into everything. Anything without armor is just going to fall apart in front of the hammers. Let's see if we can find something with armor and we'll test out the axe on it. But you've got to remember to be using your charged attacks to proc Grimnir's focus to make sure you're taking 40% less damage and your charged attacks cannot be interrupted. Which is quite handy. So you can just keep that rolling continuously. And as you see there, try and be quick with the blocking. The blocking is actually quite quick on these weapons. Ooh, a rat ogre. Where's it coming from? Where are you? I can hear you, but I can't see you. We're going to be on this wall. Usually in there. Yep, there it is. Switch the axe. And yeah. so if you, if you play this map, um, the monsters do sometimes get stuck in there, so you can just like get behind the wall and hack them to pieces. Not particularly interesting, but it worked. So you can use the axe on hordes, but it's not as good as the dual hammers for just clearing them out. The hammers have such high stagger on them, and they're so fast, you will just keep the horde under control. 
even if you're not killing them yourself, you're keeping them knocked back and interrupted and irritated so that the rest of your group can help out and play around with them. Let's go down and have a play of the armoured ones down there. But yeah, you, you, the only thing you'll find is that you don't have a ranged weapon, so if you are used to playing, like, used to playing Gruber, the elf, and you can't snipe, I suppose you can if you take the throwing axes, but even then, I'm not a huge fan of them. They're yeah, useful. I just don't like them. So yeah, yeah, I know this is just on recruit. We're just doing a beginner's guide, but even on legend and higher, uh, you can just you'll be tearing armor to pieces with the axe. And if you wanted to, you can use the great axe instead of the one-handed. I just I prefer the one-handed. And I don't currently have a red two-handed because my luck on the dwarf is awful. The dwarf is one of the only characters I'm still missing the veteran items on because they just won't bloody drop. I've had like 20 fucking Drake fire pistols and Drake fire guns, but nothing else. Okay, so we've got a patrol coming. Switch the axe, leap in, and aim for the face. And just keep circle strafing around. Try not to stand still. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much slow. Also, I know this isn't part of the guide, but if you're playing solo, don't bring the bounty hunter with you because he gets stuck doing that. He gets stuck in his ultimate and just won't stop. And it irritates the living shit out of me. Sometimes he can be stuck like that for the entire map. Sometimes he doesn't. So unless you're playing the Bounty Hunter, I would not suggest bringing him as a bot. He's absolutely fucking useless when he gets caught. Like, if the bot doesn't break, he's really good because you can get the increased damage. But if he does break, oh no, he's fixed himself there, but sometimes he can be broken for the entire match. Just jump over here. Yeah. So, oh, that Slayer is good. Mm. I'll leave him sitting there trying to suck my soul, bastard. But yeah, I highly recommend trying out the Slayer. Um, it's, it's a bit difficult to get used to, but once you get the play style and the speed of it down, it's it's just... He's it's one of the... the the more hilarious classes to play. Although I will say I'm annoyed that he doesn't work the same as the Zealot, where taking more damage increases his damage. That would just make more sense. Just, you know, Slayer. They want to die. They're meant to take damage. They're meant to be in the middle of it. So I don't understand why they... But it's their game. They chose to do it like that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I will be putting up more builds as time goes on. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. And uh, I hope to see you again for the next video. But until then, see you later.